and welcome back to another video. You might be noticing that I'm not in my apartment right now. This looks familiar, so where are we at? We are at none other than Disney's All-Star Music Resort. There's my name on the TV, love to see it. I have not been to All-Star Music in a hot minute. The last hotel I had was All-Star Sports, which did not have all of these updates that I'm just seeing now. Okay, so first off with the TV, I believe you can connect your phone or mobile device to this um, to uh, play your shows and movies. I also think this is the first time I've been seeing this like cute little Mickey towel on the bed, at least for a value resort. Now what I'm about to show you, I did not know they had in the value resorts yet, so I'm a little shocked. So this is the new Hey Disney program and they're putting this in, I believe all of the rooms. I just thought it was like a slow rollout. So I don't even know what resorts really have these. I thought they were starting with deluxe and maybe working their way down. Um, but how cool is this? It's basically like an Alexa, but for your hotel room for Disney. Let's try and use it here really quick. I am so excited to use that. Oh my god. I'll do my best to help with Oh my goodness. I am so excited to use this during my stay. Um just another way that Disney is constantly improving their resort experiences. Love staying on property. This is why. Well, I'm definitely gonna dink around with that during my stay here. Um just to see all the cool things you can do. It looks like you can request towels. Um any kinds of service and yeah I guess we'll just see what we can do with it. I'm actually working today and tomorrow. Um, I work remotely so I can kind of take my job wherever I need to which is perfect so I'm just going to be working in the room here. No park days today or tomorrow but do have some fun stuff planned for Saturday and Sunday so stay tuned for that. If you haven't been following me or you haven't seen my videos before um, I like to do a little resort tour slash like room tour of the resort so you can kind of see what you're getting out of the value um, for what you're paying for. Now I booked this one for about $150 a night. Um, I will be here for the next three nights and four days. So we're here till Sunday just having a nice little vacation by myself. And let's do a quick little room tour. Okay, so right when you walk in, you have the little Hey Disney there on the nightstand. Now that's a nightstand because this actually pulls down to a bed. So this is like a Murphy bed. Um, obviously for me, I'm just gonna be using the one, but if you have more than two people, you know, you can definitely pull this down um, over the top of the table and it makes another bed. They give you lots of pillows for that. You have this cute little bar area and this is where I love to store all of my energy drinks lots of counter space storage as well as drawers and then like i stated we have this tv and it looks to be a smart tv so I was super excited to broadcast my own shows on here i can't get over the mickey head it's so cute coming over to the main bed here uh i love the headpiece this is like one of my favorite headpieces i think it's so darn cute both of these sides light up so it does light up the room pretty good now, if you have a lot of people in the room or you like to just get your suitcases out of the way like I do, um, so you have lots of floor space available without tripping on it, they do have this under bed storage here. There's lots of room for bags. Uh, you can put your suitcases under there, anything else that you need, shoes. Little place to hang your coats, sweatshirts, bags, anything else you need. Going over to the bathroom, you have this like sliding door here. So this just allows for some privacy and then that way you're not waking up all your friends when you're getting ready early in the morning for your park day. Little closet space there. Lots of storage under the sink. The one downfall is there is only one sink. So if you have multiple people, sometimes it makes it a bit difficult in the morning to get ready. And say what you want about the Valley Resorts, but they have some amazing lighting in the bathroom. I love getting ready here in the morning. Like they have this whole mirror lit up as well as this little makeup mirror. And then of course we just have your standard bathroom with a tub and shower. Shout out to the H2O products that are staying on property. Bed test. <laughs> oh, that's a comfy one. Bed passes the comfy check like they all do. I think 
I always have the best night of sleep when I'm on a Disney Resort bed. Again, not much to these rooms. It's basically like if you're planning on being in the parks all day or not spending a ton of time here, um, they don't have a lot of amenities like the other resorts do, but it gets the job done. It's clean, it's safe, and it's on Disney property. So you're still getting the magic. I feel like I'm just like engulfed in the Disney magic when I am on the value resort properties and you have access to the buses. So for me, when I take the bright line, like I did today, I don't have my vehicle up here. I don't have access to get to the parks other than the bus and I'm not taking a lift every time. So that's super helpful. Like I love the deluxe resorts, but I am a Valley Resort girly at heart. So I just finished work technically. Um, I got done at 530. I am on call for the rest of the night, so if something urgent comes in, I have to hop back on. Therefore, I'm not doing a park night tonight. I am literally just gonna hang out in the room, watch some Disney Plus probably, and have a little spa night in here. I got my room all situated and ready to go, so that'll be good. I am staying in the rock and roll section, so I think what I'm gonna do uh, for now is just kind of go down there, take some pictures and some fun videos, and then go to the food court, pick up a mobile order that I have not made yet, <laughs> pick up my food, come back to the room and enjoy the rest of my night at the resort. So I'm all rested and ready to go for tomorrow. Not that I'm doing anything super exciting tomorrow other than going for a morning run and then working from the room again. Uh, I only work till about 4.30, haven't decided if I wanna go to a park or not. Um, kind of just digging the like chill, stay in the room vibes right now. In my younger days, I'd be going full force to the parks, but here we are staying at the resort. Gonna grab this tripod. Also grabbing my resort mug, can't go without this. Let's go. Okay, this was not my typical mobile order, but I'm gonna show you what I got. First up, I got this honey barbecue pork sandwich. I'm gonna try and show it on camera as best as I can. It came on a brioche bun and with some fries, so thought that sounded good. Now, because I took the bright line, I was a little underprepared. Usually if I drive myself, I pack like a gallon or two of water. I get it from Publix or the Dollar Tree or wherever I can find it. Um, it's a lot cheaper that way. And then I just take a water bottle here and I fill up my water bottle. So I not only got one water, I got two, three, got four waters. <laughs> I don't know how long these are gonna last me for, but I did bring a bigger cup. I'll show it here. So this is a like Stanley dupe. I don't even know what the brand is, but my travel agency, um, we have like different teams and our team decided to do a secret Santa. And the girl that got me, got me just the cutest cup with um, Donald Duck on it. And then it also says my name. So I brought that to put all of my water in. I'm gonna go get some ice here in a second. Also filled up my resort mug, which I was not aware that you have to replace your resort mugs every time. I was under the impression from other people's vlogs that you could take your old like resort mugs um, that you've previously purchased. So this last trip I was on was what, a month ago? And I took that with me and I tried refilling it and it wouldn't do the magic chime. Uh, I went up and asked the cast member if I have to buy a new one and she said yes because the thing deactivates after so many days of your trip. So I went and bought a new one, no big deal. Um, but I did get this one for this trip so I could fill it up with cherry coke, of course. But that's not what I got tonight. I am trying to stay hydrated on this trip for once. So I filled this one up with just some vitamin water uh, just to switch it up from the many waters I got. Let's do a quick little sandwich taste test. Oh, she's big. Oh my goodness. She's messy. Oh my God. It's a good thing I'm not eating this one in public. The sandwich is really good. I'd probably give that like a seven or an eight out of 10. Like the pulled pork is 
super good and then i just love slaw in general but this one's actually like really good it's just very messy all right we're all ready for bed it is a little after 11 o'clock um really nothing happened tonight i ate my food i took a shower i did my skincare and i got all my stuff ready for tomorrow and that was pretty much it this is probably like the most prepared and like organized I have felt in the hotel room in a long time for a Disney trip. I think when I've taken longer ones before, I've always felt pretty good about like how I organized everything. But when I'm only staying here for like a night, I'm just kind of leaving it in my bag. So I have all my stuff together. I have my life together. I feel pretty good. I am trying to do at least like one run a week so for the whole month of january so far i've been going down to the beach in fort lauderdale one day of the week uh early in the morning and then i go watch the sunrise when i'm done with my run and then i go home so because i'm not there this week um for that i wasn't able to do it monday tuesday or wednesday um i'm doing my run tomorrow here at walt disney world there's lots of looping sidewalks within like the resort. And if you're not familiar with the all-star resorts, all-star sports, all-star music, and all-star movies all connect to each other. You can literally walk from each resort to the next one. I am pretty positive that there is running trails like you can use. I just have to figure out where those are. And I'm gonna be running early in the morning. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm not really a morning person, so that's something I've been trying to work on in 2024. I used to be a morning person. Something happened where I despise getting up in the morning. I love just laying in my bed. I think part of that has to do with my dog. I have all my stuff laid out and ready to go. We're gonna start the day off on a good foot tomorrow and I will see you then. Good night. Good morning. As you can tell, I just woke up and it is 7 a.m. Um, I actually slept through all of my alarms and that's okay. Sometimes you just need that. Yesterday I was up at 4.45 getting ready, so my body needed the sleep. I have all day today, so I can literally run whenever I want to, uh, during work or after work. So I think I'm just gonna go after work instead, um, get a quick run in midday and then be done with it. I did just place a mobile food order, so let's get ready to go pick that up. Nothing fancy today. Um, I'm just gonna be lounging around pretty much, but I got this sweatshirt from Christmas from my sister and she got this like at some vintage store, so super cute. Um, and then these joggers are from Hanes. They are amazing. And then I actually got these sandals from Amazon. Again, just lounging today. Let's go get breakfast though. We're gonna grab the resort mug. A little bit of a hike to get breakfast, but that's okay. Um, I'm kind of like in one of the further buildings from the lobby area. Uh, if you're not aware, the All Stars only have the one quick service. So like everybody is in there. Um, I haven't been that early to like the food court in a very long time. It's busy. So I did mobile order. Um, I took this to go, but this is what I got. It would not be a Disney vacation without some Mickey waffles. So of course we did that. I did a little side of bacon and sausage, filled up my resort mug with cherry Coke. I know that's bad, but it is what it is. And then we've gotten Alani to start the day. And these ones are so cute because they're little mini ones. And then I also got this like pineapple fruit cup to kind of munch on through the day. All right, we're done with work. I have not been outside since this morning. I saw it's 81 degrees, so we did a little bit of a fit change. Um, I have this like Hanes tank top underneath my sweatpants. So just took the sweatshirt off, grab my resort mug. Uh, let's go grab my mobile order. I might look at a pair of ears quick uh, to see if they have anything in the store. I really don't know what ears I'm wearing tomorrow, so I'm gonna go check that out. It has gotten like a little cloudy since this morning. Um, I'm pretty positive it said it was supposed to rain tonight, but I haven't seen any yet today. All right, let's do a little mobile order haul. 
First up, cherry coke. Next up, I got chicken parm. It looks like it's having a little spillage issue, but um, literally just chicken parmesan pasta with a breadstick. I got a vitamin water because I like to switch it up from just regular water. A good old bottle of Dasani so I can shove it in my fridge for later. Hydration is key. And then the main event is the dessert, obviously. Most of the time, I will base my mobile orders off of how good the dessert looks on that menu. <laughs> so this is a Mickey-shaped brownie. It's got marshmallows, M&Ms, it looks like some kind of nut, chocolate chips, and a chocolate drizzle. So good. Taste test. In my opinion, the all-star, like, value resort breadsticks are so good. Next up, we have the chicken parm. The chicken is really good, in my opinion. They've got marinara sauce everywhere. The pasta is a pasta. The chicken parm cost me a little over $13, so not that bad. I would give the chicken parm like an 8.5 out of 10. That was so good. The noodles are like any other noodles you'd get at anywhere in the parks. However, the chicken was like the star of the show. So good. Usually I'm pretty picky on my chicken at the Disney parks, but this one was different. Like it tasted like real chicken. It was good. So 8.5 out of 10 for the chicken parm. Now we need to figure out how I'm gonna eat this brownie without getting it all over the place. It's a good thing I'm in my room by myself because oh, this looks like it's gonna be super messy. How do you even eat this? How do I even eat this? It's, okay, so we've got this tray, right? Oh my gosh, why can I not figure this out? Wait, eat it with a fork? I think you eat it with a fork. Oh my goodness. This looks just, this is gonna be a big old mess. If I can get a fork full of this, I would be shocked. Okay, wait. Okay, I think we got it. That's a good brownie. Okay, my hands are super messy from this brownie, but I finally pulled it out of the packaging and it's just one big clump now. There's no Mickey head. So after all of that, that was a pretty good meal. I feel like full, but not too full. You know that feeling? I honestly don't know what my plans are for tonight and I don't really know what the weather looks like. So I'm gonna go get ready just in case I decide to go anywhere, but I might just be staying in the room for the night, chilling, hanging out. All right, so I did some makeup and just kind of got ready in case I felt like going out uh, to one of the parks. Ended up not going. I just laid in bed. Um, so I got unready and here we are in bed. It's currently 1.30 in the morning. I have to be up early tomorrow for um, hopefully doing a rope drop for Magic Kingdom. Crossing my fingers to wake up for that. Thank you for watching my little staycation at the resort. Um, I will have separate vlogs for tomorrow's adventures in Magic Kingdom, and then we're doing some park hopping on Sunday, so stay tuned for those. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. That would help me out so much. Make sure to subscribe if you love Disney, and I'll see you real soon.